What up, guys? Sleepy the Tool Addict. Woo! I'm going to give you a quick cure of my Cornwell tool cart because we still got a couple more of these to do. And I thought, you know what? What the hey? I'm sure you guys want to see it, so let's jump right into it and talk about it. Tell you what, this is my diagnostic cart and kind of some miscellaneous overflow because I got a lot of tools. That's why it's CP the Tool Addict. So, start off here. We've got the Maco Underhood light that I, lay, I hang up there. Some extra swivel sockets, my Maco ratcheting wrenches, some Mechanics Time Saver magnets that I keep over the back here, another magnet that I keep over here, snap-on cordless uh, rechargeable lights, uh, old Cornwell light, both of my Mac ones, the uh, uh, S, I can't remember, ASL lights, Tectin quarter-inch drive 12-point set, a uh, ADB um, standard set quarter inch impact. Um, I got a work sharp, nice sharpener, and I just got laid up there. Some extra drill bits. All my Mayhew punches and chisels are right here. Air hammer bits, and there's because they just fit up here right now. Got this Micro Pro low profile ratcheting set that uh, you know I use every once in a while for some tight access. Some dynamic tools, hex keys. And uh, over here, I got all my Matco screwdrivers. I got a couple of miscellaneous. Just got one warrantied. I got the old style, the new style. They're kind of a mixed bag. Got a magnifying glass. Got a belt tensioner tool. Um, this is a Mac. I've had it forever. There's the part number on it. It's just so you can help reach down in there. But I use it for a lot of things, believe it or not. The Cornwall cart has a power source back here. The tape measure. I've got some Pittsburgh, just messy, or just some Pittsburgh junk screwdrivers I use. This thing's pretty cool. It's a brake pedal depressor that I use, a squeeze clamp brake pedal depressor that I turn the turn it around so you can put the pads on it and use it as a brake pad. Hot sleeve that I use the hell out of this. This one's from Mechanics uh, Mechanics Wear. Hot sleeve. So uh, definitely use that all the time. Not so much in the winter as much. Matco picks, more Pittsburgh screwdrivers. One of the old grabber tools. Um, a lot of Rock Auto stickers, obviously. But yeah, so that's the top one. Let's move right along to the bottom next drawer down. Uh, this drawer is not ter terribly full right now. I haven't decided what I want to do, so. It's kind of a toss-up. Uh, got some valve core tools. These are uh, kind of nice to have because it's got all the different ones. My Maco guy had this. My last Maco guy had it on clearance. Impact driver set from Mac. Spark testers. Different ones. Um, and I have this one. This kit right here. I have a bunch of them. Got the. This is an old KD one. And uh, I think this is. One of these is the original ones I had. I think this is the original one I ever had. A couple different designs. This is kind of the same thing right here. Pretty much the same tool and different. <laughs> I had two of them. I didn't know I had that one. I bought another set. That's what happens sometimes. You get too many tools. Master bypass kit. I use this all the freaking time. Just for tripping uh, um, relays and stuff. It's definitely worth having. I got two Noid lights. Oops, sorry. Got some back row pins. Probably should put those in a different drawer with the back row pins. Got this uh, light or my test lights up here. One of them. I got about nine of them. Uh, these are battery side terminal charge post adapters. Uh, I bought these a while back, but I've had a, a set of these beforehand. They've been out for a long, long time. Thexton's. And uh, you see the part number on there. Here's in those. Super 88 electrical tape. Best electrical tape in the market. A this is a performance tool, just a quick insert tool. I've had this one for a long time. It works okay. I got a snap on one you'll see further on down in. Got a Noid Light Universal from Lyle. Got another ABN Noid Light kit. Got my digital scope and our digital uh, whatever uh, boroscope that I use. And this one is from uh, freaking... Who the hell is this one from? I forget what the name is on it. 
Ah, I did a video on it. All right, let's turn it on. It'll say when it starts up. Sky Basic. Sky Basic. So it's it's been great. I've been completely happy with it versus the Bluetooth ones. I hate the Bluetooth ones. They suck. I've got a backup multimeter. This is an EM721 Mac I have up here. Let me get this straighten out. Yeah, so that's about it for that drawer. Let's move right on to the next. We're going to make this as quick as possible. This is a pretty extensive uh, drawer here. Got my AES Wave Kit. Um, this is my Snap-on Power Probe. This is my Mac ET. Uh, these are actually Kent Moore tools made these. Got some heat shrink over there and zip ties. I got just laying in there. I actually picked this kick up at a pawn shop one day for little nothing but these are super handy super nice they have like a spring in there so you can just add them to your power probe or uh, meter or whatnot like that really 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 like that my snap-on multimeter which is the one i use the most got a fluke kit with just an absolute bunch of leads in here i've got a memory saver for a mac memory saver in there Bunch of different inductive pickups, bunch, bunch of fluke. I only like, I only use fluke leads for most of anything I use. So I just got a bunch of different connectors in there. Oh, those are AC fittings. I don't know why those are in there. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of different. There's my Lyle. Should have that thing set out here. This is my Lyle power ground lead. Keep that in there with that stuff because it's just. Keeps it all more in one place. This is my AES Wave U-Scope. Definitely a nice little tool. I use it quite a bit. Got the Mac um, inductive pickups. This is a high output. And uh, they've got shielded non they got shielded leads on these. On this one here, on the low, on the, the low voltage. And then this is the high voltage. Plug right in your multimeter. And they turn on, get your green light. Uh, very very nice. Uh, I've really really enjoyed these You got the snap-on Terminal tools which are by far my favorite and pretty much the only ones every time I find a set They seem like they make them and then just dis discontinue them. These ones have been around in fact They're still using the old handles on them. So that's why I stick with those I'll show you this AES wave kit All right, so this is the AES wave kit and it has pretty much every pin you have the updated It has these amp loops with fusible amp loops on them um, they're really nice. I went over this kit on a video Talked about it. It's pretty much uh, a necessity in my opinion and the only way to go for having Making sure that you have every connector in there. Usually I have this thing unzipped So I don't know why I didn't have it unzipped But uh, somebody must have been fiddling around in there whatnot But uh, yeah, so this is one of my major testing drawers. This is kind of a high High price drawer right here. I think everything in this drawer probably cost about two grand total. Then we have the disaster electrical drawer. And as you can see, I have some butane electrical cleaners. I have snap-on torches, um, terminal cleaners, some uh, ring connectors, more heat shrink. I love the marine heat shrink because it has the sealant in it. Uh, more heat shrink there that came with a kit. Fuses. Pin probes. Um, I have the, this test lead kit I haven't opened. These fuse block connectors. These are really nice. They're by Electrical Testing. Um, another test kit back there. I have another lead kit back there for some GM, specialty GM kits. That's micro 64 pins, um, which I have a few in the AES wave. Just a little cheap deal there. Works great. I don't think I gave but 20 bucks for that. Um, this kit right here. <laughs> Over the years, it's been molested and used, and it's uh, definitely one of my favorite electrical lead kits. These are from Mac, and these are, I think they still make them, JLS 4000s. <clears throat> I have my uh, Ampound Blue Point. That is definitely an awesome tool. Uh, some more terminal cleaners. There's so much crap in this drawer. This is why I know I can go to this drawer. These are diamond files for round connectors, and... Uh, Definitely come in handy for trailer connectors and stuff like that. Oh, there's a shielded lead. That should be up there. Got to have these together. Wrong spot there. 
have a, uh, this is a butane old Econo Torch Master Kit. Uh, I have this uh, wire loom kit from Snap-on for uh, inserting wires in the grommets. And this kit's awesome. Uh, I don't know what the part number is on it. It's a WINS100R. And it uh, comes with all these connectors. I would like to get the flexible one. They have a flexible line that comes with it uh, that I do not have. I have the uh, infamous starter switch. Don't use it so much on new stuff. It doesn't really work on new stuff anymore nowadays, but uh, the old stuff. Stethoscope. Just a cheap piece, some extra O-rings and stuff. I think I have a lot of AC fittings and stuff like that in here that I uh, have. The uh, more, these are the flat file, like tweezer style cleaners. They're uh, IPA, I think is who makes all those. But I bought them from Matco because um, they had them on a deal. The uh, lug, grounding lug from Mac. This JST 12-volt uh, digital light, 3-volt to 48-volt. Another Mac uh, plug that goes in. This is a Mac uh, test lead. It just has this right here. Cockpit tester, they call it. That was the one that's kind of with the uh, Elia one. Got my Snap-on digital. Um, what is this one? I don't know. I've had this one. She might have started on fire at one time. I've had this one for a long time. This is the ECT 400G. She's getting wore off. I don't remember... I think this one's only 24 volt, and that's why I bought this JST because it went up to 48, and I needed it for testing something on injectors. This is the old trusty, trusty Lyle straight cord, probably one of my favorite testers. This is the one I started out. It's the one I've had for years, and the one that works. I mean, these are pretty much essential right here. If you're gonna get a test light, get this one first. Don't even worry about all the other baloney. I've got another. This is a fine fine probe. One, it's really, really sharp. It used to have a cap on here, but uh, too many people using my tools and not respecting them. Finally, the cap got lost, unfortunately. Snap-on butane torch, I've loved it, and it's went great. It's a bunch of different lubes. Uh, soldering uh, tip cleaner. Uh, got a GM battery terminal wrench right here. KD, USA. I've got several of these laying around. But, uh, yeah, this drawer, one of my highly used drawers, a lot of stuff in there. I had it kind of organized there, but I just kind of ruffled it up going through there. But that's, uh, that's a big one, too. Down here, I have some extra overflow pliers. Uh, this is my oil filter stuff and brake service stuff and some snap ring pliers. Some of my favorite snap ring pliers right here. Are these right here they're convertible pliers they just twist the knob no pins no switching around just switch the knob they've got me by doing everything i wanted to do they're actually lang rebrands i believe it's pk6 from mac but um this is also lang but i got it from napa they had a deal on them one day and uh works pretty good i got a snap on and uh it uh it works okay for the for the your for the asian ones i got some old tools that i've had to throw it in here these are kind of neat so these are old text and stuff i bought these at an old parts store and it uh was here in one of the rural towns but this is an old nut bolt starter remover and i thought it was kind of neat and it was still in the package and they were had clearance on them uh so i thought you know what i'm gonna get these and this is a hose slitter Pretty vintage tool, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to keep these in the package. Because I think I only gave a buck a piece for all these. <clears throat> um, then we got this here, right? Uh, this pit, this wrench right here. Hold it up right, CP. So, this is uh, Quadrajet filter nuts. If you guys worked on Quadrajets, I did. And I never had that wrench. Boy, they, I'm glad they're not around anymore. Because Quadrajets are... Uh, sometimes you have to deal with them, but... Uh, I haven't had to deal with a lot of them, but if you do have a quadrajet, this makes it super easy. I remember working on the carburetor, the quadrajet carburetors. I guess I shouldn't say they're not around, but not as relevant. Uh, but this was a, definitely a nice wrench to have when you're working on quad, quadrajets. So uh, I have that, and I want, bought it. <laughs> Another little cool tool. Dexton's always got some neat stuff. Pet cock socket. <laughs> uh, so that was pretty cool. And I got this thing, too. This is another Thexton. Made in the USA. It's for a flywheel turner. Just a short one. 
So, yeah. Oh, and then we got, uh, we got just a little uh, tra tread depth gauge for tires. We've got a Lyle hose clamp tool. This thing's a bad mother trucker. And uh, we got another Lyle. Uh, these are for the clamps, fuel lines and stuff like that. Got that little pincher deal on them. Wicked little thing. Just some more pliers. Hose clamp pliers, hog ring pliers, some overflow stuff, scissors. Uh, my favorite, one of my favorite uh, I showed these about a year ago, and I've seen about everybody's gotten them now. These are for clamps, just pliers for plier clamps for quick ones. And uh, then there's this hose clamp plier here. Same thing. It's just the same tool as this hose clamp tool. Same one of those. And, uh, yeah, just a different assortment. I just got all the different hose clamp pliers. Got these from Mac. Um, they work out good, too. If you want to leave it, on, leave it on, I really like this hose clamp tool for clamping off hoses. But, uh, yeah, that was a deal on the set they had, so I picked that up. So, yeah. Store is not terribly, terribly full, but it's getting there. The rest of them are pretty much all packed, too. Uh, I got some miscellaneous overflow air tools. I have some uh, tools that I haven't used. <laughs> Uh, yet But I keep some overflow air tools in here. I got a cheap cutter old Milwaukee saw some air tools. I don't use uh, Cornwall die grinder Whoops, sorry wasn't getting in the shot some of my blow guns an old air gauge ProLogic unused I uh, haven't decided to use those yet some snap-on screwdrivers and then uh, this is a dynamic uh, uh, Socket set I haven't moved it. I might rearrange this drawer eventually. Do something different with it. But uh, for right now, just kind of storing those. <clears throat> this is a specialty drawer. And it has a lot of tools that you might have seen. Uh, it's got a seal puller set, seal driver set. This is a coolant refiller right there. Um, this is my Astro bolt grip set. There's a Mac Tools Heavy Riveter set. This is a hose block off master line stopper kit. And I also incorporated my snap ons into here. And these are awesome when you're doing brakes because you can put these on there and cap these off so that way they don't leak brake fluid. These ones are really nice because you put those over the line. On your brake line and then pop them over the top and they don't leak highly underused tool very nice and you can buy them at the Lyle's Lyle has the entire kit I had the snap-ons already but I wanted all these block offs for vacuum lines and stuff like that but these are the Lyle version of what the snap-ons were and you'll see the Lyle's have a metal piece in there which are a little bit nicer in my opinion where these are just plastic so they tend to get chewed up so yeah, banjo fittings for your banjo fittings and whatnot. Yeah, very nice. I like this kit a lot. Use it pretty frequently. Transmission lines and stuff like that. You want to block it off, keep them from leaking on you while you're working. Uh, this riveter. Let's look at this. I think this, if I remember right, this is my rotating head one. No, it's a Marson. One of the best riveters out there, but it comes with all these rivets in the kit. And uh, it's definitely uh, one of the ones, I think all, most of these boxes are about half empty now. But got your aluminum steel, mandrel, the rivets, all of them in there. It's an older kit, but it's awesome. Marson makes the best riveters on the planet. Get this stuff pulled in here. Uh, this is a power belt. I just did a video on that for the press. This is my jaw puller. Uh, it's my snap-on. This is one of those kits that will can save you or make you enough money in one day. Get it open here. Hard to do this with one hand. 
for AC uh, changing out Schrader valves on AC lines and uh, I've used this enough that it's paid for itself. I paid 350 bucks for this set uh, but my dealer gave me such a good deal on it because I think these are rebranded from Master Cool uh, on the snap-on truck but I, he gave me such a good deal I couldn't pass it up. Definitely worth the money. Save you a little bit so you can switch out a Schrader valve. Leak your Schrader valve without having to evacuate the system. Saves a bunch of time. Ton of time. This is a Mac Tools bit set that I've had for a long time. That I use. It's got drill bits and everything in it. Just a handy kit to take along with you, especially if you're out mobile or whatnot. And then this is my uh, master disconnect set. Fuel line disconnect. It's got just about everything in it you need for disconnects. And this is my solar battery tester, charger bastard battery tester. So I think that's uh, going to do it. Quick and dirty. 20 minute tour. If you guys think I did it too fast? Let me know. The old Cornwell Pro Series. Uh, did one a long time ago, but this is kind of, it's almost to where it's about perfect. I want to make this more diagnostic setup. This is going to be a diagnostic car fully. Plan on getting a monitor up there eventually. But for right now, this is where it's going to live until I get a whole new toolbox system. Because uh, this is, this is uh, full. The next one we're going to probably do is on that box there. And then this box. So, anyways, guys. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember... Keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.